I'm Claudia, and two years ago, I found myself at a fork in the road, not only literally, but in my life. I chose the road less traveled and felt in love with freedom, so much so that I am currently renovating my tiny home on wheels so I can live as a nomad all over this gorgeous country while I discover what I'm truly made of. Last week, I shared the beginning of my cork flooring installation, so I'm beyond excited to share the complete installation in today's video. I'm liking this where I'm pushing it against the tile, very, very tight, in such a way that I have to push down with my finger. Oh, yes. It's a little bump here and here because they're so tight together. Nothing that my roller cannot fix. Oh, hi, you're there. I decided to switch from the tile roller to the floor roller because it goes faster. And you have to make sure that the entire tile has glue all over, especially on the edges. Completely glued on all corners, everywhere. This is what you want to see. You don't have to do this, but I'm taking extra time because I'm trying to make the patterns flow. For example, this piece of bark here, it ends, it ends just like that. I would like the next tile to finish it somehow, not perfectly, but somehow. And then I have to look at these patterns here and try to match those. So what I do is pick a tile, and rotate it on all sides, and then pick the one that matches the best. If I don't find one, I try the next one. And this one, to me, matches good enough. Again, I'm not looking for perfection. I'm in between not caring and caring. <laughs> so here, for example, this tile, again, the pattern kind of continues on the next tile, you see here. So that's good enough to me. I also like the fact that it lines up well with the ones on this side. You see like this big pattern kind of continues on the next tile. Once I find the one that I like, then I know that this is the part I need to cut off. So I turn it around. I line up with the next one because they're all gonna be the same size on this area. Then I get my straight edge and make sure that it's properly lined up and mark my line. First, I'm going to mark all the tiles. Then I'm gonna add glue to the floor so it dries while I cut the tiles. Then once the tiles are cut, I'm gonna start gluing the tiles. By that time, the floor is gonna be already tacky and then let the tiles dry a little bit and apply them. So that's what I'm working on right now. Now I'm going to cut my tiles and we'll get it done. I think today is day number four. I don't, I lost count. If you see me with different clothing, it's a different day. What I learned from YouTube University when installing around the door edge is to install the tile under it. In order to do that, I have to cut the trim and cut the wall. And to find my, my um, height, I place the tile against it. So that way I can mark the height of the tile 
and then I can make my cut. And that should do it. I bought this little thing. I'm sure you have seen it on TV. That is to mark odd shapes. So I need to cut around the base of the toilet here. So I already made, made my mark. And uh, I put a little, a couple marks here too, to help me because I have never used this little thing. And I don't know if it's a gimmick or if it's gonna work. So let's give it a shot. So I wanna line up the edge of the shape with the marks that I made. I will report back. And this, my friends, is the last piece of my entire floor, bathroom and main area. Now, I am going to shower myself for a couple days. And then I'm gonna give you a little tour of my new mm, cork flooring. <laughs> I have so much to tell you, but first, let me get clean up. Let's go take a look at my floors. I'm so excited to show you. Come, 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 come. Do you like my floors? I am beyond excited. I cannot believe that I actually installed my floors. It wasn't easy. I'm not gonna give you a time lapse and say, oof, that was an easy project. It was not. I learned a lot of things. And as I was making mistakes and learning new things, I started making my notes because I wanna share them as tips if you are interested and cork flooring installation. Can you believe it? I did it. I installed my cork flooring and I am so happy about it. I learned a lot of things. I think for me, the best way to learn is by doing it. Otherwise, if I were just going with my feelings, I probably wouldn't have, I would not have done it because Ah, oh, I, I get a lot of anxiety. So I tried to block those feelings and just go and do it. And I did it. I installed my cork flooring the way I want it. Everything is turned out the way I want it. I made a few mistakes, but I also know how to fix them. And I'm not sure if they were my mistakes or it's because there's nothing straight in the RV. But I don't want to put everything on this video because I don't know, I have the feeling this is going to be a long one. Also, if you have any questions, post them in the comments and I'll answer them in the next video. I know, I know that one of you is interested or considering the cork flooring. I wish more of you were because they feel so good. They feel so good and they're so pretty. I know everything looks a little bit too orange right now because the flooring main colors are very close to the cabinets and the doors and everything wood here, but all of that's gonna change. I am planning to paint the lower cabinets. I think I'm gonna have only one lower cabinet 
and then this area and I plan to I plan to paint the bottom cabinets either black or a dark gray because it's gonna be a beautiful contrast it's gonna be a beautiful contrast with the colors of the floor in the upper cabinets I'm gonna leave them like a bleach wood a very soft light wood it's gonna be awesome I can see it in my head I have so many ideas there, there are gonna be a lot of changes because now that I put the floors down, I know what I need to change. Like in the bathroom, the wallpaper that I have there doesn't work anymore, so that's gonna change. I, I have so many great plans. I wanna share them as I go because a lot of things may change, you know. In my head, I think I can do this and I can do that, and then I come here and I'm like, no, I don't have the space for that. So I am figuring things as I go because there's so many options that I love, truly. I mean, maybe that's my problem. I have so many ideas, but anyways, my floors, I did my floors. Guys, I have no experience. I have never done this before. I did it, so if I did it, you can do it. No matter who you are, you can do it. You can do it. Let's talk on the next video about whatever questions you have. Please post them now so I have time to respond them for next video. And then um, we'll talk more about what I learned and the mistakes I made. I am super happy, guys. I truly encourage you to just go for the things that you feel fear about. Just try them, try them. I may not always be successful, but I always want to give it a shot. Let's chat on the next video, okay? Post your questions. Tell me what you think. Do you like my floors? I love my floors. I love my floors. Come back for the next one. Ciao. Mwah.